Mark the guitar guy here. I can't speak very well, but I can help you guys with your guitar playing. So what we're going to be talking about today is actually a bit of a, a revision. Now, I became kind of known on the internet, on YouTube, uh, early on when I first started this channel for TikTok. I call it TikTok because I never had a name for it. Um, basically, it's the down-up pendulum swing that happens constantly on my right arm to do a strumming. Now, I go on and on about this a lot. The TikTok is basically going to make you sound so secure. Now, the meaning of that, the best analogy I can come up with is if you're in a car and you're in the passenger seat, someone else is driving, okay? And if they're not a very good driver, if they are a little bit, oop, 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 a bit scary, you are going to be insecure, right? You're going to be a little bit oop, not trustworthy and you're going to not really enjoy the experience. It's very hard to enjoy. However, if that person's in complete control and you feel you're in complete control, then that's going to feel uh, as uh, the audience or as the passenger way more comfortable. So the TikTok is the key to that for a guitar player. If you want your audience or your band or people around you or you to feel at ease and comfortable, it's your TikTok that steadies the ship. It really does, okay? So what I'm going to do is just give you an example. And I know I've got lessons on TikTok, but I'm just going to go over it very quickly. So, I'm going to play a G chord now for you, and I'm going to strum the G chord without TikTok. Okay, I'm still holding the pick, I'm doing all that sort of stuff. What I mean by that is, I won't be just continuous down ups. It'll stop and start, and I'll just, I'll make rhythms still, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, here's the first version. Okay. I exaggerated slightly because I've got perfect timing. I wouldn't be making any mistakes now, would I? But in that case, I did actually show you a few examples of like being a little bit unsteady, and hopefully you felt that. Now I'm going to do with perfect TikTok. So TikTok is just it, the strumming pattern is exactly the same. It's still that da, 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 rhythm. However, I'm going to do it from a TikTok. Okay, this is a bit harder to do, but I'm going to do it for you. It's not hard for me, but it's harder to do initially, or maybe see. But here we go, and you should feel the difference. So hopefully that felt way more secure and steady. Now the reason for that was, it was because my TikTok, I said, what's the difference between those two? One was just going, it was strumming the rhythm, it was doing the same thing, and it feels like the same thing, maybe, but not to the listener, because it feels awkward, because I'm guessing when the next beat should be. I'm guessing ta, 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 ta. The next one might be ta, 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 ta. Or a little bit, you know, awkward. When I've got constant TikTok, I've got perfect, I've got perfect timing for everything. So therefore, everything sits in exactly the right spot. So if I was to do TikTok continuously without stopping, and I'm going to put my fingers over the strings, so I've got no noise. That's TikTok, okay? And my strum is born from that. All I'm doing is missing some of the strums where I'm hitting the strings there, but I miss some of them out, and I get a rhythm. Like if I just do down down ups. Now to do that, I have to go down, I have to come up again, but miss, and then do a down up. But the coming up in that miss part gives me the perfect timing. It's a little spacer. If I did just did that by just guessing, it'll be like... Now it might feel the same to you or sound the same just now, but honestly, it really does make a difference if you can get that TikTok going. Okay, now let's do that down, down, up, up, down strumming pattern, okay? Down, down, up. Now the weird part about it is a strumming down and doing nothing. Down, down, up, up, down. That miss, I call it a miss. So when my downstroke happens and I literally strum nothing, that is the most awkward thing to do when you're learning the guitar because it feels like, why am I strumming nothing? It seems pointless. But it's a spacer. It gives you that perfect space. As if I got a whole bunch of bricks in a row, if I had four or five bricks, and every second brick I took that out, that means the spacing would be perfect between each brick. But if I just guessed, it could be some bricks could be closer than others. Hopefully you get that analogy. I've got some amazing analogies today. So, let's put that together now. That strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down. That TikTok is so vital. Now this is a very brief lesson. Go back and check out the TikTok videos on this and my strumming pattern videos because the strumming patterns really all use this and encompass this. 
But there's another thing for TikTok that you probably haven't thought about. Now that's for guitar solos or soloing. All that funky stuff that I do, if, um, if you've seen some of the stuff I do, like... I'm just making some chords up. Now all that rhythm that's going on there is all because of my TikTok. It's all because my TikTok is so damn awesome that I can actually do that and it will sound funky and I can do things and just as long as this is always moving, it might be a small movement that's going on. It might be to the naked eye, it might be very hard to actually detect, but I, I guarantee there is a TikTok happening all the way through there. And I'll slow it down. Hear that TikTok? That is where the rhythm comes from. Now instantly, if you're like everybody else in the world out there, you're going, oh, looking at my hand that's playing the chords, because, oh, that sounds good, and you're wanting to find out what's happening here. Um, that actually is not too difficult to do. But the right hand, this part here, is hard to see what's going on. So that, but it's the TikTok. I'm just TikToking, and I'm bringing chords on and off, and the rhythm, the funkiness, is coming from there. Even that stop that I do. The chicka chicka. Slow it down even more. No, I don't care how good you get, never stop TikToking. Never stop. It doesn't matter if that TikTok's a small acknowledgement of a TikTok, like a space where a strum would belong. I don't mind that. That's kind of cool. You can do that, no worries. But really, a good guitar player never stops that TikTok happening. It might just be a little small ghostly one that people can hardly see, but it's still going. It's still this, this little constant machine that keeps on going. And you can play fast. So that's one idea where you can solo it. Everyone wants to look at my left hand, what's going on, all the wibbly wibbly bits there, but really, it's all coming from here. If I play one note, okay, I'm going to play one note. That's the note I'm going to play. I'm going to make it funky with the right hand because of TikTok. Got a bit lost at the end because I started thinking of some other stuff. But could you see that was constantly tick-tocking if I do it slowly? You can make a cool solo with just good tick-tock. Okay, that ends my speech on TikTok. If I had a mic, I'd drop it and go right now. Hey, Mark the Guitar Guy here. If you enjoyed that lesson and you like my style of teaching, I think you should probably get in touch with me and book a one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, a whole bunch of people have been doing that recently. I've now opened, opened up to doing that to the whole world. That's right, the whole world has to pay the price. Um, you can go, uh, we can use Skype and we can use FaceTime. Skype's cool. We can do some really cool lessons with that. Um, obviously it's paid, but if you get in quick, there is actually uh, still some free lessons available if you wanna click the book now button on my Facebook page, Mark the Guitar Guy Facebook. You can go and follow me on Instagram, on all those social media awesomeness places. Um, look down below in the description if you wanna get in touch and I'd love to make contact with you and see you very soon.
survive unless you get a little.